Hitting the reset button on a popular piece of Cleveland history. The community's getting another chance to help shape the future of Shaker Square this weekend. News 5's Mike Brookbank gives us a look at where the project stands as it moves into this next phase. Shaking things up in the square. We recognize that um, there's great opportunity in this space. Julian Kahn, a Buckeye resident. This is the first process of its kind that I've been attached to. Working to make sure those who call this diverse neighborhood home from Moreland to Buckeye to Larchman all have a voice in Shaker Square's redesign. If there's anything that the outreach efforts have showed us is that this space is beloved. More than 2,000 people sharing their thoughts on what this area should look like moving forward. This was one of those few moments where it was equal parts resident and institution. Six months after gathering that input Put, designers are now ready to show off their refined plan. We've really appreciated how much engagement people have focused on this. Project manager Mary Lidecker tells me Shaker Heights Boulevard will be realigned. That has been a huge part of what we're looking at. Creating a vibrant destination in the heart of the square. Really emphasizing that connectivity between the edge and the center. As for concerns about people navigating through traffic to get to the proposed green space. One of the major design elements is actually creating a multi-use trail. A new crossing at the RTA tracks and larger crossing zones expected to improve safety in the 90 year old square. When you think of this as being a place that was planned by two people, um, we're really turning that paradigm around. When often just a few stakeholders make major decisions impacting communities, Julian Kahn is celebrating this process so far. That's amazing to see. It's a standard I'd like to see uh, continued in all other uh, development projects. Reporting in Cleveland, Mike Brookbank, News 5.